As you can see, Squishy's doing nice in her big tongue. She's the only fish I've left to carry on with that API cichlid pellet. And that's because she's big enough to eat them all when I drop them in. Because it leaves like oily, crappy, fatty stuff in your water like that. And for some reason it doesn't show up as nitrates or ammonia, but whatever it does kills your fish. If it's like little fish, like small cichlids, like all my franzoses and everything that died. But even the yeah, OB peacocks are dying and they can eat it all. See, that confuses me. My rocks are back in now because they were safe after all. Yeah, she's happy as Larry in there with the three big plaques. The albino is in there somewhere. There she is on the rock. In this tank I've got me big albino plaque that's like, I'd say 12, 13 inch from now to the tail if he stretches out. And my last OB peacock. That's pretty much the one fish that the fucking API cichlid pellets didn't kill. I will be doing a more detailed review on it, but I want to give it a few days and make sure nothing dies first before 100% blame them, like, but so far it looks that way because I haven't fed it in two days and nothing's died. This tank I've got cordies and stuff, and the two little Oscars at the minute because they weren't doing well with the OB. Don't know if they're just sleeping or being lazy or what. But they all seem to get on fine, even the little bristle noses. But when you start getting bigger, I'll be moving them, just letting the other tank settle down first to make sure the water's fine after the other one died as well. But we still got Hendrix and Marley, even now Morris and died. But he's the one that helped me find the problem, so he's still like the best tank I'd ever spent. Big respect for the little fishy. He paid the ultimate price, but kind of showed me what's wrong. A little blue dolphin more eyes growing daily as well. Every time I look at him recently he's getting bigger. But they're my two African cichlids that I've got left. <laughs> I'm doing the move. <laughs> the one on the left's um, Hendrix and the other one's Marley. And the albino one's called Squishy. That's because when I opened the box and I got it off eBay, I said you should be called Squishy and you should be mine because I've just been watching Finding Nemo on the telly. Don't even know how the hell it got on. I think it was just on when I turned the TV on, but whatever. So she got called Squishy. The only other fish with names a big massive plucky gets called Gulliver. Cause it's a hell of a travel getting a man <laughs> on foot. As you can see the clear water's a hell of a lot clearer in this tank now. We can roast it a bit of a film, but bit by bit I'll get that out if I have to. When I get some cash I'll buy a surface skimmer. I just don't really want to see many internals because when she gets big she's probably going to wreck them all anyway. So I'll probably have to switch everything over then. At the minute she's about 5 inch I'd say. Maybe 6. Yeah, she's loving the hell out of her new big tank. That's why I got her them two little ones to grow on and be tank mates for now. Eventually I'll probably re one of them when they get big if I have to. 
if I haven't got bigger tanks by then, but at the minute they're an inch long, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yeah, that's the update so far.